Bro, I'm tired. I look tired. I feel tired. And it was a long freaking week. Super productive week, but it was a long week. We're running out of space at the nutritional facility. Legit, we don't have any room to move. We need to either purchase or lease another building or expand on the property. This next step is we're out of space. We've chewed through 60,000 square feet. We could use another 60,000 square feet. And this is the last property in Franklin County, Maine that can do what we need it to do. That just goes to tell you about the infrastructure of America and how it's deteriorated and slowly died over the past 25 years. We're gonna go look at this property and we're gonna see if it'll it'll do what we need it to do. Oh, I know. I know how it goes. If you can't control the supply chain, control the supply chain. We did look at one facility and there was a big explosion a couple weeks ago and so the mill put all of their paper inside which was crazy massive towers of paper oh this is all the paper from the mill oh because the mill exploded bro this is the all the paper they left just enough room to slip between so trying to solve that problem that building's two million bucks not sure exactly how we're going to do that but we'll figure it out. As far as like keeping people's attention on the media department, we felt like we wanted to make them laugh this week. We feel like people are ready for a good laugh. I ended up playing the Northern Maine Sasquatch Yeti. This is winning at all costs, dude. People don't know. Which was pretty funny. I sweat and sweat and sweat and that, that freaking costume is disgusting. <laughs> My hands are pruned. <laughs> I've never paid anyone to go fishing before. My typical day for Uncle Pete is labor intensive, very labor intensive, anything and everything. I never really know what I'm gonna do when I come to work. I have never been paid to go fishing before. Didn't really think that that was ever gonna happen, but got a couple brook trout. I like that. I don't think him and Joe had a problem going on a, a little fishing excursion. Did you get me a fish? No, oh, the funny. fucking fishing suck. Ho, ho, ho! Ooh, 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 ooh. Good, all right. Thank you, those are perfect. <laughs> of course, the bar, filming the Cold War video at the bar was a big learning experience. It did not go super smoothly. We did get the content cranked out. Props to the media team for topping it out. And then you're gonna start arm wrestling and you're gonna be like, ah, but on the other end of the table. Yeah. And you're gonna kind of see like, you know, just like this part, like, ah. yeah. and you're gonna be like fighting each other. Yeah. And then the bartender's gonna be like, guys, and then the wide shot and you're on either end of the table. We need to write a script for this stuff. It didn't go smoothly and that comes down to basically a leadership thing. I didn't give the team enough time to formulate the ideas. And so when we got there, it was a little bit of chaos. We already got too much, so yeah, we're just gonna have to use the beginning of that and that'll be fine. Okay. And we'll cut to the long probably. Yeah. You're talking about action on Thai as well. So it was full, full of challenges. At the same time, challenges were met. Everybody uh, played their part. And that's why we've got a strong team. And that's why we're actually thriving through this pandemic. We'll make face coverings as long as we need to. I, I don't think we're gonna need to anymore. I think we're, we're at the end of it. So if we can get back to making denim blue jeans and getting the looms turned back on, making the shit we're really good at making, that, that would make me very happy.